Okay, Brooke, uh, fantastic night tonight for our first game. Unfortunately, a loss for the girls, but what did you make of the evening? Yeah, exactly. We obviously came out here to win. We want to be really competitive. Um, and, yeah, just a few structural things let us down tonight. Um, we were really good in the contested ball, but um, post-clearance post let us down a little bit and just a few other structural things. Um, but they're easy fixes. Um, we'll go back to training next week and, and really work on those things. Um, but you can't fault the effort in the girls tonight. Really historic night for our club um, and just seeing the stands absolutely packed and um, the energy and the roar um, was really special. You just you talked about the girls' effort and intensity there. You could really see that through the tackle pressure, particularly early, and then in the second quarter, St Kilda probably upped the energy even more. Just talk us through the, the pressure situation that you guys had, and we had 11 debutantes as well, so just how they reacted to that extra tempo from an AFLW game. Yeah, no doubt those girls were really nervous, and, and even the girls that have been in the competition for a really long time were nervous because of the occasion being the, the first night for us. Um, but... Yeah, they, they went out there and, and did their best and um, being the first game, um, yeah, the excitement of it as well. But as I said before, we'll, we'll learn from this game and, and move on and, and get better uh, next week. And you just you scored a um, goal yourself. Just talk us through that one. A nice little effort, I guess, in the middle from Spag. Got the ball out to you. What was going through your head there when you had the ball in hand? Oh, I was just happy that she put it to the left side. Obviously a left footer, so um, I was able to get, get around and do a snap on my left foot. But yeah, a nice, a nice moment. Um, try and get the crowd up and about as well. But yeah, I think, I think um, it was a game of momentum and moments and we've really got to make sure that we take those moments. And you've touched on lightly, but what, what will be those key points going into Collingwood next week? The task doesn't get any easier. And we played them in a practice game a couple of weeks ago. So what are you guys, what, what are you guys going to work on this week? Yeah, I think every, every week we play with each other, we're going to learn um, each other and the way that we play a lot more. And that's probably a, a big thing to it. That you forget that we've only been together for 11 weeks or, or so. So the more, more we play together um, and then, yeah, just making sure that we bring our pressure every week. We have to bring that. That's our DNA. Um, and then that post clearance and make sure that we get it in um, quickly and give our forwards the best chance for shots on goal. And just lastly, on the night that was, I guess, you, you mentioned it earlier, we had over 8,000 fans here tonight. What was it like to be part of such a special occasion? You know, a big guard of honour with lots of club members present and then just to hear the roar of the crowd. Yeah, everything you just mentioned was so special from getting off the bus and walking in and having the Garden of Honour with our, our family there was really special. Um, and then, as you said, out here on the ground, you could absolutely hear the roar um, from the fans when, when we were out and into our um, forward 50. And um, so, yeah, we thank all our fans for coming out and um, hope to see them in round three at the CG and, and obviously in, in Melbourne as well.